the Friday in Tryon, North Carolina. I don't think it ever got above about 27 degrees today. Uh, it was quite cool. And uh, Lois ventured out with uh, four or five layers just to check to see what I was doing on the garage. Uh, I put up some insulation uh, on the outside of the garage and getting ready for the metal to go up. Uh, but in any case, this is uh, the 10 days of Christmas. How well do you know the Christmas story? Five questions each night for 10 days. First five I've already given you. The way we're going to play this is that you try to answer these questions in your mind as I give you questions. Then I'm going to give you the scripture reference and I'm going to tell you the answer. Uh, but first, try to answer it in your own mind and see how many of these you can get right. So the first question, question number six. What does to betrothed mean? What does betrothed mean? Because Mary and Joseph were betrothed. The answer is found in Matthew 118. Uh, it's even more rigid than an engagement. Even more rigid than an engagement. Very binding. Number seven. What were Joseph's options when he found out that Mary was expecting a child? What were Joseph's options when he found out that she was expecting a child? The answer is found in Deuteronomy 22.24 and Deuteronomy 24.1. In Deuteronomy 22.24, he could have her stoned. He could actually have her killed for being unfaithful in the betrothal time. In Deuteronomy 24.1, he could give her a writ or a writing of divorcement. He could give her a writing of divorcement. Those were his options. And of course, the option was to go ahead and marry her anyway, but uh, it tells us in the scripture that he was going to put her away secretly, which means he was probably going to give her a writ of divorcement. Number eight, Gabriel told Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Gabriel told Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. It's a trick question. The answer is found in Matthew 1, 21 and 23. It wasn't Gabriel. We don't know who the angel was. We just know an angel came to Joseph in his sleep. So right off the bat, it's a trick question. Gabriel didn't necessarily tell Joseph anything. But the phrase, do not be afraid, is absolutely true. And you're going to see that phrase repeat itself throughout this Christmas story. Number nine, why do we often include the story of Zacharias and Elizabeth in the birth of Jesus story? Why do we often include Zacharias and Elizabeth in the birth of Jesus story? You'll find the answer in Luke 1, verses 11 through 25. First of all, we see it for a miracle because they were well up in years and well beyond child raising air. But the scriptures told us that there would be a forerunner, someone to proclaim the coming of the Messiah, someone like Elijah who would proclaim the coming of the Messiah. And John the Baptist was born of Zacharias and Elizabeth. And he would be the forerunner for Jesus. He would be the one that would point the disciples to Jesus and say, behold, the savior of the world. And number 10, how do we know the approximate time in history of the birth of Jesus? Name at least three ways. How do we know the approximate time in history of the birth of Jesus? Name three ways. Well, you'll find the answer in Matthew 1, 1 through 17 in Luke 1.25 and Daniel 9.25. We see the generations 14 plus 14 plus 14 total of 42 generations 
generation at that time was considered approximately 50 years. That would give us about 2100 years from the time uh, that Abraham was given his promise. Daniel 9.25 is a little more complicated because we have weeks of years, but uh, most theologians say you calculate through Je Daniel 9.25 the exact time of Jesus' birth. And finally, you can tell because of the scriptures telling us that it was during the reign of King Herod. During the reign of King Herod. Well, those are your five questions. Remember, at five questions each night, that's 20 points each. How did you do? Did you pass or fail? How well did you know the Christmas story? <laughs> I hope that you did well. You have a very great evening, and I hope that you're enjoying your church's cantatas and special events, for this is a very blessed season. Your thought for the day. God bless you, and have a great day.